Hi guys, welcome to our AOS Edu series. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your mask so that it sits comfortably on your face. I have seen so many people go out and really like wretch their mask straps so, so tight that they end up having like this huge imprint on their face because they think that it has to be super tight. It really, really doesn't, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of things just to look out for. Now, every mask clip system is different, so it will vary, but this is as a general rule, will give you a great idea as to how it all works. Okay, so masks will tension, you can see through this strap here, you can tension, it's like an airplane seatbelt buckle, pull the buckle that way. All right, and then to loosen, you've got some clips. So these ones you can clip and you're gonna be pulling the back bit of the strap so not the the end you're going to be pulling where the head is so you push that down which basically opens up this little bit here and that will let you slide it off there okay these little keepers are just so that your straps not going um, flopping all over the place and you can't pull it out at the end of the day all right so what happens with your mask is you want to be popping it on your face now I've just scrubbed one off the shelf I generally have a, a neoprene strap through here so it doesn't pull on I know not so much hair be here but it's super super comfortable um, right, so when you pop that onto your face, basically you want to grab this strap. So you can see this is like super loose and it's falling. You want to grab this strap here, okay, and you want to tighten it. Now, your mask strap should be sitting at the top point of your head here, okay? So here, not down because that's going to pull your mask down and not too high because that will fall off. So right at the top of your um, head here, and then you want to pull this strap, okay? All right, so you want to adjust it on both sides so you tension it here. Now, this I've dug too tight. This mask fits me really well, so excuse me, sounding a little bit funny now that it seals on my face. But so you pull that up here, and this is like starting to push in. Now, if I want to check how it will fit me so correctly, it's I can just push these little buttons, and it's just, you may have seen that in the video, maybe not, you may have heard it. So if you go there, you can see how that sort of let go. So my mask just sits there. I'm getting all foggy. All right, so so it's just sitting there, okay? After it does that, just one little nick tight from there. So it should be just sitting. As you go underwater, the water pressure itself will seal it against your face. And if you have a proper fitting mask, that is what's gonna make a huge, huge difference into how much air is, uh, sorry, how much water is leaking into your mask. The reason why people tend to like really uh, super tight is that their mask doesn't fit them. Oh, that's not comfortable. Um, their mask doesn't fit them properly. Okay, so knowing that your mask fits you properly is your number one step. And secondly, making sure that the strap sits up here and that it is tensioned correctly. All right, it's super foggy, so I'll take that off and finish this. So if you find that it is still leaking, it might be because your mask doesn't fit you, or some people, if you've got these like little divots, if you all smile, everyone smile and feel this little bit, if you've got these little bits, yeah, good luck to you. That's just what happens. Laughing if you're underwater, you'll flood them anyway. But that's essentially what you're looking for. Not too much tension, okay? Awesome. Hope that helped, guys. Um, if you want to, and if you can, just like, comment, share underneath. Subscribe to our YouTube channel would be super ace, and we'll do another little video for you soon. See ya.